So now that we've talked about uh, non-point source pollution, I want to talk about point source pollution, which is a lot uh, easier, at least in my opinion, to understand. So the main difference between the two is that uh, point source pollution is easily pinpointed uh, when non-point source pollutants, as we talked about before, are kind of hard to identify uh, and, you know, put in a quantitative state. So with um, point source pollution, you know, some of these examples are uh, wastewater treatment plants, uh, factories, uh, if an oil spill happens, you know, if um, toxic waste uh, spills or something, you know, we can say, okay, you know, uh, the wastewater treatment plant released, you know, a thousand gallons of polluted water, and we can, you know, put that responsibility on them. It's something that we can easily control, unlike the non-point source pollution. Um, so, and not some of the other sources, you know, besides wastewater treatment plants, factories, and oil spills, you know, your car leaking oil, that can be an a example of point source pollution. Um, and, you know, things like unlined landfills, or if a septic tank starts to leak into our groundwater, that's a, um, you know, point source pollution. Um, so with that, that pretty much concludes the two. We can talk about it more in class tomorrow. So if you guys have questions, just write them down. And we'll speak about it tomorrow.